Hey, hey, hey everyone, my name is Nolan, and welcome back to another episode inside of the Terraria Calamity mod, and again, we're just going to jump right into it. So if you didn't see the last episode, basically, we took down all of the mech bosses, and there are bosses in between the mech bosses that I'm supposed to beat, so I have a feeling I should be able to take care of these pretty easily, especially because I got some stuff off camera that I want to upgrade. So the first thing is the Angry Bloody Worm Scarf. Uh, it's actually just the Bloody Worm Scarf. I upgraded that off camera, but what I need to upgrade now is this shield, and I need to make the Onk Shield. I don't know if this will actually help me um, in in any of these fights, but I'm still going to make it anyways. So we have to make the Onk Charm, craft that, and then make the Onk Shield. Nice. And this is a material, but I don't think it's anything I can make right now. Um, how do you get... Oh, you know, maybe it's soon. I don't know. Um, okay, but for now, yeah, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll just keep the Onk Shield. So we'll have to reforge that. But next up, I want to make these unholy core things. And I should be able to make quite a bit. Yes, I can. Um, so I can make 34. And then these are a material for something, for a lot of things. So the first thing is the charred idol that I need to make. I'm pretty sure that I can make that. This will this will summon one of the bosses we have to fight today. So there we go. And then I think that there was a melee weapon. Oh, I think that this is after after Plantera, I'm pretty sure. But this I can make Oh no, this is post uh this is post uh calamitous, but I think I can make this the brimstone sword. Um I might I might as well just make that. And I'm pretty sure I can't Yeah, that's all post calamitous so brimstone sword brimstone sword okay we'll just craft it just because why not cool and then the next thing i want to make is the sword from the last episode i forgot the name of it already it is the dark l dark light great sword uh this is something that oh why can't i make it now what dark light great sword oh i need to get cryonic ore okay so that's the one thing looks like i forgot to get was chronic ore so i'm just gonna go grab some really quick because it really should not be that hard to find okay got some chronic ore so i should be able to make these bars now so cry cryonic bar nice we'll just craft all of these cool now um the sword was called the dark light sword dark light dark light great sword i guess okay cool we got that now that i can also supposedly make the true Excalibur and True Knight's Edge, um, but I really don't know about that. I don't know why it's. I, th I swear I need broken hero swords. Oh no! Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I I made the uh, oh I made the Bloody's Edge instead of the True Knight's Edge. Okay, but I can still make the True Excalibur supposedly. Oh, I need chlorophyte bars. Well, luckily, I got a lot of chlorophyte. Here we go. Chlorified bars. That's weird. I swear that th I hope that's not vanilla Terraria because I swear that vanilla Terraria was uh, Broken hero swords, but maybe not. I don't know. Okay. We just made 300 chlorified bars So this better be enough for literally everything in my entire playthrough. So it was the true Excalibur Okay, there it is right there. We'll make it just in case. I don't know. We'll see so I have a lot more swords now I made upgrades to I think everything Ooh, maybe not maybe i need to make the evasion scarf however this could be post something um no i think i can make this right now so the evasion scarf is a upgrade to the counter scarf so i i think i just need to make silk okay which i can craft and I actually have silk anyways but we'll craft some more and then i should be able to make the scarf the evasion scarf yes Okay, cool. Nice. So, now I just have to reforge here. And I need to make the seafood. That's the last thing I think I need to make here. Because that's how I summon... Oh, why can't I make it? Seafood. Oh, I need starfish. Okay, I'll get those really quick. And then I just need to make this, the seafood. And then we'll be able to do everything in this episode, hopefully. Okay, so also what you may notice is that I... Uh, oh, I'm going to make this day and night. I mean, night and day. Um, what you may notice is I actually went and got life fruit. So yeah, I went and got life fruit. I uh, I got the Cosmolite. I also did a solar eclipse off camera. 
Um, okay, cool. So I think this is everything. And then I also have some potions in here. I'm going to get Yarm Stimulate. Okay, we'll get the Flask of Ichor. Um, we'll get two thorns. We'll get two of these. Two of these. And then we'll get this. And we'll also get these. Okay, and then I think the rest I'm just going to buy. Oh, no, this one. We need that. Cool. Okay, so I got everything reforged here. So we're going to start with the Dark Light Greatsword. Okay. So, okay, so this does shoot a projectile. Okay, so what does a projectile do? Fires Dark Light Blades that split on death. Okay. It seems good. It seems alright. Next up, we got the Brimstone Sword. Okay, this does a lot of DPS. Looks like I actually have to hit something, though, for it to activate, so... Uh, might not need use that too much. And next up, we got the True Excalibur. Which, uh... Wow, that does a lot of damage. I think that it just does so much damage because, uh... Huh, interesting. Okay, so I think that the swords that I'm going to go with... I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to... Maybe. I'm going to use the Biome Blade for sure. And then I might go with these. These might be the swords that I use. Um, so I guess let's just jump into this. I think that I'm first going to start with the Aquatic Scourge because that's what's first labeled on here. I'm expecting to be able to do these fights like right away just because uh, they're, they're already supposed to be beaten. I, I've already like made progress past them. If for some reason I struggle, I can make not only Chlorify Armor, but Turtle Armor, which is like... Which, yeah, that's pretty pretty dang good. Turtle armor is, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure way better than hollowed armor. The only reason that you'd want hollowed armor is for that holy effect thing that, that makes you, yeah, become immune after striking an enemy. Okay, so let's just do this. Um, I, I just realized I got the wrong one. So we're going to buff up here. Wait for this to regen. I guess I don't really have to wait because I'm so good that I'm not going to take damage. Okay, so let's uh, let's start with this sword here. Um, I'm assuming, again, wow, okay, I did not expect him to do that. Okay, so, so far, this has been doing pretty good, about 1,500 DPS. Okay, we'll round off at that. Next up, we'll try the Biome Blade. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, why did it just select that? What the heck? So, looks like the Biome Blade is doing about 1,000... 200, like 1,000 to 1,200. Oh, we got adrenaline. Okay, so since this does more, I'm definitely going to use this for now. Holy cow. Okay, yeah, that, that, this is doing a ton of damage. Alright, nice. Okay, let's uh, let's try the true Excalibur now. Okay, so looks like looks like uh, the true Excalibur and the, uh, the other one are pretty good. Looks like they're all about the same. I think that the Dark Light Greatsword is just going to be the best because I think it's just going to be the easiest to hit. And it looks like it's doing the most damage, but I could be wrong. So I forgot everything about this fight other than those horns. Okay, so it looks like I have to dodge those. I have to dodge all these clouds. And it looks like I was actually, I think, able to dodge everything. Let's get some rage going here. Um, I don't think I've taken a hit this whole thing besides, like, I mean, actual damage. I mean, I, I've taken hits, but not actually any damage, which I think is pretty good. Oh... Yep, we're still good. We're still good. Yep, no hits taken. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we got adrenaline again. Heck yeah. Okay, so yeah, we've taken hits, but uh, we're just immune to them. That's pretty good. Nice. This fight has been pretty dang easy. That, I'm, I'm just going to say that. Hopefully it doesn't like shift at any second and become super hard. Then again, it, sh it probably should have been easy. There's a hit. Okay, that just did like over 100 damage. So definitely don't get hit by the head. <laughs> definitely don't go. Oh no. Okay, apparently those glass gas clouds do a lot too. So this fight could literally be over in like a couple mistakes. A couple mistakes and I'm done. And I'm done. Which is not good. Um, but yeah, this sword definitely seems to be the way to go for Aquatic Scourge. So if you're uh, if you're looking how to beat Aquatic Scourge, I guess what I should start doing is showing you guys like what I use to beat these bosses. So that's what I'm going to do after this. I'll show you all the gear I used. Um, the, the dark, the dark light great sword is definitely the way to go for aquatic skirt. Oh, I just got adrenaline and then I lost it. Gosh dang it though, dude, this, this boss does a ton of damage. Holy cow. I did not realize how much damage it did. 
Uh, mainly because I spent the entire first half of the fight not taking damage, which, that's pretty good for mid gaming. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Okay. Oh no, I thought I, I thought I was, I didn't realize that was moving. I need to heal. Okay, we're good. good. If I can get adrenaline one more time, I'll win for sure. But I might not even need it. I might not. We'll see though. We'll see. I think that the the uh, the acid rain might even spawn right after this, which would be kind of annoying because uh, if you don't know, the acid rain is uh, harder now in hard mode, and I can actually get more stuff from it, um, so I can craft like a new yo-yo. Oh my gosh, we actually did get adrenaline. Okay, well now the fight's over. No way I die. No way I die. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> Well, I beat it, <laughs> but that's only, uh, I, I, I'm just going to say I only died because I got super, uh, super stupid at the end. I just wanted to push through it. Um, okay, yeah, it looks like the acid rain spawned in. I'll probably just do this off camera, and then we'll beat Brimstone Elemental next. All right, guys, so I did the acid rain, and I actually managed to get the sulfurous grabber, which is the yo-yo I was talking about. Um, so I don't, this might actually be really good for um for brimstone elemental i don't know though M maybe i'll end up using it actually I'll, I'll throw it on here for now um especially with the yo-yo bag i just don't know like what i'd switch the yo-yo bag for um probably not that I'd, I'd probably do it for the frost flare honestly i'll probably do that for now um and yeah let's just go do this fight so i have a spot set up um, way out here. The, the brimstone crag, of course, is like all the way across the map. I'll, I'll just cut back when I get there. Okay, but really quickly, before I jump into this fight, I'd just like to show you what I used. So I used um, all hallowed armor. Okay, actually, this this probably would be a bad spot to do this. <laughs> uh, let me go. Honestly, being over in hell instead of the brimstone would probably be better. So I used all hallowed armor. I used frost flare, uh, evasion scarf. I used soul of cryogen, onk shield, bloody worm scarf, Angel Treads, and Mechanical Glove for my equipment, and then I just used the Dark Light Greatsword. Um, and that's pretty much it to take down the Aquatic Scourge. Now I'm going to be using the Yo-Yo Bag, Evasion Scarf, uh, Soul of Cryogen, Onk Shield, uh, Bloody Worm Scarf, Angel Treads, and Mechanical Glove, and then the Hallowed Armor, and then I'm going to probably... We'll see what weapons I use. For now, I'm probably going... Okay! <laughs> All right then. Um, honestly, maybe Excalibur is gonna be. Nope, it's definitely not. Okay. Uh, this is very interesting. Um, I apparently I accidentally summoned in the Wall of Flesh, so we're gonna do this really quick because I've buffed up. Might as well do it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Actually, this would be a good time here to test the Yo-Yo. Um, Yo-Yo seems to be doing pretty good, honestly. Yeah, this Yo-Yo seems to be like a good Yo-Yo. Okay, got, can't get hit by those demon sites. Those demon sites do a lot of damage. And... Yeah, you're done. Okay, so I think that, again, for this fight, I'm probably going to use these four melee weapons. True Excalibur, Biome Blade, Dark Light Greatsword, and Sulfurous Grabber. Um, I have a feeling that the yo-yo is going to be pretty decent for this fight. Uh, let's take down all these enemies. Okay, cool. And then I should just be able to summon this in hypothetically charred idol i have a feeling i'm gonna end up needing that rotted discord so okay let's do this so it looks like dude is over to the left and that's right uh she teleports um okay so this is doing about 1200 dps so that's pretty good uh where's she now okay she's down there looks like she's stuck uh i forgot those uh those things i want to stay close for okay so Looks like at close range, this does even more damage, which is kind of surprising. So let's try the great, the Dark Light Sword now. Um, looks like the Dark Light Sword... Oh my gosh, we got Adrenaline. So since I got Adrenaline, I want to use the Yo-Yo, because the Yo-Yo so far has done the most DPS. The Dark Light Great Sword, it was doing good, it just wasn't doing nearly as much as the Yo-Yo, honestly. Okay. So yeah, this fight looks like it's going to be another pushover. Okay, so now she's uh, in like her little shell thing. Okay, nice. I, I kind of remember this fight, honestly. Um, okay, we gotta watch out for those things. Yeah, it looks like this yo-yo is doing pretty dang good. Uh, let's try the great the dark light sword again, though. Looks like 
Looks like it's doing a little bit less. Nothing really too major. Okay, so she shoots a beam now. That's new. Okay. <laughs> that is new. That is 100% new. Uh, I want to try the true Excalibur now, though. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I think the best bet for this fight is definitely the yo-yo. Okay, watch out. Uh, yo -yo -yo. Jeez, this thing's going to be hard to dodge. Oh my gosh. I flew right into those. Alright, I need to try to get adrenaline again, clearly. I need to actually focus on the fight here. Okay, okay so this isn't that hard to dodge. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. Uh, please don't die. I really don't want to have to go buy more buffs. Uh, that was almost really bad. We're good, though. Okay, it's another one of these. Okay. That was dumb. That was a dumb hit. Oh no, I'm gonna die. How long I need to heal? Four seconds. Okay, let's just run. Run this way. Okay, we can heal. Nice. What the? Okay. We almost got it. We almost got it. <laughs> this is This is what happens when I try to talk over all my fights. Yeah, I think we're gonna beat it. I think we are. Although I, I'll be honest, I'm not paying attention to my health, and I think it's about to. I think I'm about to die. Okay, we got it though. We got it. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go back to. Let's go back to spawn here. I also placed down my aquatic scourge, uh, thingy mabobber. Cool. Nice. We actually managed to do that, and I'm super fast. So let's throw all these in here. I don't need the wall flush thing. I'll just take up room. Okay. Okay. Uh. Honestly, I'm probably going to throw these in my storage for now. I think that the swords that I have are probably just the best. Um, where's my aquatic scourge bag? Bag. You know what? Knowing me, I probably just trashed it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go look really quick. Hopefully I didn't. I'll cut back when I'm done. Oh, I remember what I did with it. I put it in my piggy bank. Yes, I remember. Haha. -ha. I'm not so stupid now after all. And I just realized I'm almost out of cash again, so that kind of sucks. All right, let's uh let's open these up, see what we get. I want melee weapons, but knowing us, we we'll probably won't get that. Why can't I? Okay. Guess I can't open it. Uh open. Um oh, we did get a melee weapon. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Uh enemies release electric sparks on hit. Okay. We got a summon weapon, rogue weapon. Guarding Cross of Spine, that's a that's a rogue thing. Uh, aquatic Emblem, so this is probably for going down into the Abyss. And then we got an Angling Kit. Okay, and then we get Fishing Gear from that, nice. Cool, let's open the Brimstone Elemental. Um, charred Relic, okay. I don't know what that does, interesting. Oh, that's like, a, that's like an accessory thing, okay. Um... Stress pills can be worn in vanity slots. Adrenaline charges 20% faster. Okay. This seems good. This seems really good. I'm not going to lie. What does it make? A cult skull crown. This is probably... Yeah, this is like way end game. Okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I probably... I probably don't need this right now. But I do have it. Uh, Gahina... Drops brimstone element. Wow, I can't even talk. Whatever. Uh, we got another melee, a true melee weapon. This seems like it'd be good. I kind of want to test this out, honestly. The range on it is decent. Ooh. Yeah. I think I might. I think I might end up using this. Um, I don't even know what for. Probably true Excalibur. Excalibur. I don't know why I can't say that. Um, I feel like true Excalibur is just kind of too generic, even though it is good. Uh, we'll, th we'll throw it in there for now. We'll throw all this other stuff in here, too. And, yeah, I, I, I still have time, so let me see what I need to do. All right, I'll tell you guys what I want to do. I want to give, uh, I want to give, what, what's her name? Empress of Light. I want to give her a go. Um, so, I, I don't think I'll need any other buffs besides what I have, because, oh, wait, I'm doing this at nighttime. Oh, I, I can use all the buffs. I forgot, doing it during the nighttime, uh... Makes it so, yeah, you're not one-shot. Doing it during the daytime means you're one-shot, but I'm doing this during the night, so 
uh, we should be good. So let's uh, let's get um, iron skin, okay, and endurance, okay. Cool. So this should be good. We should have everything. I don't know. We'll find out though. So all I should have to do, I'm pretty sure, is throw this down. How do I? Okay, and then kill. Okay, let's go. So I think I'm gonna use you, um, and I'm gonna actually try to remember t how to do this fight. So if you guys don't know, the first video I ever made on my channel was a Empress of Light during the daytime guide, and I I don't know if I'm gonna remember how to do this. Okay, so I have to run. Okay, go this way. Okay, we're good. Nice, cool, doing good so far. Uh, this honestly might just come down to like a time game. Honestly, you know what? Maybe a. Oh, we got a drone. Let's go. Come on, come here. Let me, let me, let me tag you. Okay, this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> Let's just go around this way. Maybe, maybe the biome blade would be good because this has a, has like, unlimited range basically. Um, yeah. So this is doing about. 800 DPS, 700 DPS, mainly 800. Okay, and then this does. Mm, why? See, why does it keep switching weapons like that? What the heck? Uh, I think that the biome blade is definitely the way to go. I think it is for sure. Okay, we got adrenaline. What the? Did she just teleport? What the heck? Dude, honestly, I'm probably gonna be able to do this. Oh, we just took some bad hits though. TBH. Okay, I, I was expecting... Eh, I don't really know. I don't really know what I was expecting from this fight. Don't ask me. Okay, let's get out of range here. So yeah, literally all I did was just set up a giant bridge in the sky. So hopefully uh should be able to do this. Okay, I'm gonna have to loop back around this way. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. <gasps> bad time, bad time. Bad time for that to happen. Okay, we're good though. We're, we're good. Okay, fly up here. Uh, run this way. Oh my gosh, I got adrenaline again. And what a good time to get adrenaline. When I know I can hit everything. Let's go. Oh my gosh, guys. I might actually do this. Okay. And then I got and then I got hit by the dash. That's not what I that's not what you want. Definitely not. Definitely not. If if I can get the soaring insignia, dude, that'll be that'll be insane. And soaring insignia soaring insignia is really good, and I'm assuming that Calamity Mod definitely made it better. Uh, they probably gave it like an upgrade or something. Oh, imagine that falling star hit. The falling stars probably don't do too much damage. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Luckily, I had the dash. Looks like Empress of Light even has a debuff. Oh my gosh, dude. I cannot be doing those. I cannot be doing that. <laughs> I cannot be running right into the boss. Okay, I need to get rid of the minimap for sure. Okay. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on dodging for a second here. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, looks like I put a uh, these on the vein miner. Not good. How do I open up my inventory? Okay, I'm going to die because I tried to do that. Oh, we're in, are we in the second phase right now? We are. Okay, I'm probably going to die now. Yep. <laughs> it wasn't a bad attempt, but I needed my rotted discord. I was trying to get my rotted discord, and I couldn't open my inventory. Okay, how do I un-whitelist this? Okay, there we go. Cool, I'm going to end the episode there. Next episode, I don't even know what we're going to do. Probably these two, and then eventually we'll get to... Uh, Whoa, Empress of Light's supposed to be done way down here. <laughs> I want to beat this. I want to. I feel like I can, so I'm going to try. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. If you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more Calamity Mod, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Peace. Yo, guys, so I now have a merch store. I'm going to keep this nice and short while also showcasing some of the merch in the background. So basically, I plan to make a lot more videos in the future where I'm giving out more money. I, I want to be the next Mr. Beast. Okay, I'll just say that. I know I'm not him yet. But I'm working with what I got. So if you guys want to support the channel while also looking good, while also wanting me to make better videos, then definitely go check out the merch store. Even just feedback is appreciated. We got a lot of different clothes. We got mint gaming logo stuff. We got stickers, phone cases, mouse pads, all different kinds of shirts with my regular logo. And then we even have some funnier shirts, which are just kind of memes. And then also like representing your state in a funny way. So yeah, go check it out.